Hey friends, happy Wednesday. So I'm at Walgreens again. Um, I It's still early, it's still really early, but I haven't seen a digital booster for next week yet. Um, but we only have until Sunday to finish our monthly booster because that's the end of the month. So on this account, I have spent 36 times, get back $30 in Walgreens cash. So my goal is, it'll probably end up being a cost, but my goal is to use digital coupons as well as some uh, manufacturer register rewards and Walgreens cash without a booster and have a super, super low out of pocket and be able to complete um, that monthly booster. So um, that's my plan. My first transaction, I'm pretty much just using all digitals. And then I'm just gonna use the Walgreens cash to pay for the rest because I do have some high value digital coupons um, that'll cover the cost for my spend 30 six times, get back $30 in Walgreens cash because at Walgreens, um, cash out of pocket, manufacturer paper coupons, digital coupons, printable coupons, and the manufacturer register rewards those are, um, what's the word? Those count as cash in Walgreens system. So as long as you have, say you have a, a paper, or not a paper, not a paper, like a digital booster for like spend 20, get five. If you have $20 of digital coupons in that transaction, right there's your cost. So the rest of it, you can just, um, What's the word? Pay with Walgreens. I don't know what I'm thinking, but you have to like you have to have that twenty dollars in order to be able to use it to get back that Walgreens cash. Do you know what I'm do? Do I make sense what I'm saying? Sometimes I feel like I don't make sense how I'm trying to explain things. But yeah, so I'm just using digital coupons, and we're just gonna see what kind of things we can do today, and um, hopefully finish that. Uh, monthly booster and I haven't been getting any um, paper boosters printing out at all so I did get a 20% off a $30 plus purchase so I do want to use that today um, on the back teen and Airwick I believe because we have I bought a rebates for those so and the Airwick's not on sale so um, and I like the small goods so but I think that's all all I wanted to say if you haven't watched my Walgreens video earlier this week I did the same thing I just used um, like digital coupons register rewards and Walgreens cash and just use that um, to pay towards my that it counts towards my trip for my spend 36 times you know what I'm saying okay so anyway that's all I wanted to say let's go L'Oreal Cosmetics are buy one, get one half off this week. No rewards coming back, but I do have some high value digital coupons that are expiring on the 30th, so I really want to utilize them. So the first thing I'm going to grab is one of the mascaras that are priced at $10.99. A lot of these L'Oreal foundations are clearanced for $4.79. So what I'm going to do is actually pick up four of them. All of these products will total me $25.35. I do have a $10 off of two digital coupon. So I'm going to have the cashier scan the uh, mascara first in hopes that that $10 digital will attach to that and one of the uh, foundations. And I also have a $7 off of two digital as well as a $4 off of one digital. So that's gonna bring my total all the way down to just $4.35 for all five products, but that's $21 in digital coupons going towards that spend requirement of spend 30, get back the $30. So this will be my fifth trip. So we have $21 tracking so far, so we only need about nine more to meet that spend requirement. Degree is buy one, get one half off. No rewards coming back. So I'm going to grab the ones that are $4.99. That'll be $7.48 with the buy one, get one half. I do have a $5 digital. That'll make it $2.48 for both. I'm also going to pick up some more CoverGirl because the Ibotta rebates did reset. So these blushes are priced at $8.79, but they're also buy one, get one half off. 
So two will be $13.18. I'm gonna use two of the $3 coupons and we just got these in, I believe the 623 save. So that'll bring my total down to $7.18 and I'll submit to Ibotta for $3 back on each one, makes it $1.18 for both. So this is everything I'm gonna be picking up in my first transaction. All of this is gonna end up totaling me $46.01. I have $32 of coupons between these two paper and my digital coupons. So I've met my spend requirement for that spend 30. So this should bring my total down to 1401. I am gonna use $10 of Walgreens cash and a $3 register reward so that I should only have to pay 101 plus tax out of pocket. Bactine was on a better deal last week when it was 20% off, but it's still on a promotion for spend 15. You're gonna get back a $5 store register reward. So I'm gonna go for the Lidocaine dry sprays. Those are priced at $11.49 each. Now I do have a 20% off of a $30 or more purchase. So I am gonna use that towards this, but with both of these, that only puts me at $22.98. So I need to add one more item. I added in the Airwick refills. Those are priced at $7.99 and they're also regular price. So now for all three of these products, this is gonna put me at $30.97. So I can use that 20% off Catalina. So that should take off $6.20, bringing my total down to $24.77. I am gonna use a $3 off of two hang tag for the back team. If you don't have that, you can use the $1.50 off of one digital and then submit to Shopmium for $1.50 back for the other one. So this will bring my total down to $21.77. I am going to get back the $5 store register reward for the back team. Then I'm going to submit to Ibotta for $3.74 back on each back team, plus $4 for the Airwick. And I'm also going to submit to Fetch for $1.50 back on each back team. That's going to make all three products only $2.24. I am gonna do the Garnier Fructis steal again. Um, I did use my digital coupon, so I'm just gonna use a printable this time. So they're two for eight. I'll use this $3 printable, pay five, and I'm gonna get back a $3 register reward for buying two, makes them a dollar each. Angel Soft is on sale this week, two for nine, and when you buy three, you're gonna get back a $3 register reward. So I'm gonna pick up three of them for $13.50. I do have a $1.50 off of three digital. So I'll pay 12, get back the $3 register reward, makes them $3 each. I forgot to take a picture of this L'Oreal um, Plump Lip Gloss. So this is actually clearance in my store for $3.49. So buy one, get one half off, that's gonna be $5.23. And I have a $5 off of two digital, so that'll make both of those just 23 cents. So now when you put all of these items together, this puts me at 59.45, minus that 20%, which will take off $6.20, that's gonna bring me down to $53.25. Now I only have 1250 of digital coupons, so I am gonna throw in some register rewards. I do have $19 in register rewards to help lower my out of pocket. So between the $19 of register rewards and the 1250 in digital coupons, my spend is at 3150. So I can use um, $20 of Walgreens cash. So with the 5325, minus the $12.50 and the $19 of register rewards, that brings it to $21.75. So I can use the 20 in Walgreens cash and only have to pay out about $1.75 plus tax out of pocket. All right, friends, let's check out and we'll go over my receipts. All right, so here we are with today's goodness. Um, oh, so my $4 off of one digital didn't come off, but I did contact customer service and they did issue me the $4 of Walgreens cash. So my out of pocket was a little higher. Um, but I did want to tell you, make sure you're checking the expiration dates because there was some, yeah, like this one expired 5, 2024. Um, yeah, so, but yeah, just, just check expiration dates. 
But other than that, that was the only issue I had with any of my coupons. So um, let's just go over my first receipt. So there's my two cover girl, my two degree, the L'Oreal mascara, and then here's three of the foundations and then another one. So my two $3 for the cover girl, there's my $3 register reward, and then my 10 off of two for the L'Oreal, my seven off two, and my $5 off two for the degree. So the $4 off one didn't come off. So my subtotal was $15.01 and I did use 10 in Walgreens cash. So I paid $5.01 plus tax out of pocket and it should have been the $101. But, um, and I did get back a tiny bit in Walgreens cash. I didn't count that at all. But so for my first transaction, 1501, add in that $3 register reward, that puts me at 1801. I got back the $4 from customer service and $6 on Ibotta makes my first transaction a cost of $8.01. So now my second one has my two fructis. There's, um, Oh, those didn't ring up by one, get one half. Okay, they just rang up regular price. That's a bummer. Um, right? But why does it seem like, I don't know. Cause I feel like it was still, it should have still been the same price. I don't know, I'm confused now. Anyway, um, there's my Angel Soft. Here's the air wick with the percentage coming off and the back teen. So it took off a total of $6.20. There's my $19 of register rewards I used, my $3 for the Bactin, $3 for the Fructis, $5 was for the L'Oreal, and then $1.50 for the Angel Soft. So that brought my total down to $21.75, and I did use $20 of Walgreens cash. So my out-of-pocket was $1.75 plus tax, and I did earn $30.33 in Walgreens cash. So I, I hit my uh, monthly booster. And then I got all my register rewards. So I got my $5 store coupon for the back team. I got back $3 Georgia Pacific. Oh, that's the Angel Soft. And then I got the $3 for the Garnier. Then I submitted to Ibotta. I got back $11.48. And I submitted to Fetch for $3 back. So it ends up making my second transaction a $15.06 moneymaker. So my $15.06 moneymaker, my $8.01 cost, everything here was a $7.05 moneymaker. And we pretty much spent $5.675 was what we spent out of pocket plus tax. But we did get back 11, like $17 in cash from Ibotta. So either way you look at it, it's a really, really great deal just using Walgreens cash and coupons to finish this bonus. So let me know if you plan on doing anything like this. Um, but yeah, thank you so, so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. And until then, stay in coupon mode. Bye, friends.